Department of Global Ecology scientist Joe Berry and colleagues at the research center Gerlich in Germany have discovered that radiation dries transpiration, the process of releasing water vapor to the air through the actions of tiny leaf pores called stomata. This research has enormous implications for weather forecasting, climate change, agriculture, hydrology, and more. Stomata are lip-shaped pores surrounded by a pair of guard cells that control the size of the opening. The size of the pores regulates the inflow of carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis and the outflow of water vapor to the atmosphere. This transpiration cools and humidifies the atmosphere over vegetation, moderates the climate, and increases precipitation. Stomata also influence the rate at which plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This affects the productivity of plants and the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide, which is important to climate change research. Current climate change models use statistical analysis of a few plant species and do not include a solid understanding of the mechanism of stomatal regulation. This lack of knowledge is a poor basis for extrapolating environmental conditions. The researchers illuminated a sunflower leaf with incandescent light of different colors. Similar stoma openings occurred with equal energy outputs, indicating that heat was the driver of the behavior. The experiment was replicated with five other plant species. Scientists had assumed that the guard cells forming the pore have sophisticated sensory and information processing systems that adjust the pores. But this research demonstrates that the rate of water loss by stomata is linked to physical processes deep within the leaf. This means that the current model for what drives stomata to alter their size has to be revised. The research is published in the July 12, 2010 online edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.